Okay, I'm back again. This time with a quick review on Energizer's Hybrid Solar Lantern. Uh, the reason it's considered hybrid is because it uses two different battery technologies. Uh, you first have a solar chargeable battery pack via a uh, nickel metal hydride 3.6 volt pack. It uh, recharges off of an amorphous silicone cell. Uh, it's rated for a half a watt. And then the second battery technology is going to be regular alkaline cells that you can get in pretty much any store. It just takes three D-cell batteries. Uh, the main difference between the two is you're going to get more runtime uh, with the alkaline batteries because they're much larger. Uh, before I get into any more specs, let me go ahead and thank the folks over at Energizer for sending me this unit for review. I definitely do appreciate it. I've been using it uh, for the past two weeks, um, pretty much on a daily basis, testing it. Uh, in a variety of different ways, uh, light output, um, you know, battery runtime, how long it takes to recharge from solar, if it can recharge under low light conditions, uh, what if I use cheap dollar store batteries, which I'm actually using right now in this device, and uh, it's done pretty darn good over the past two weeks. So let me get back to the main point. Uh, this is a really great lantern. Uh, it can be used for a bunch of different applications. If you're going fishing at night, you're on your boat, um, you don't want to use up your boat's battery, you can use this. Uh, you can also use it when camping. That's its main purpose uh, is to be used during camping, but probably my primary use for it is going to be during an emergency power outage situation at the home. Uh, you know, it's going to be much safer to use something battery operated, something like a flashlight or a lantern. Uh, than to have a candle or a uh, fuel powered lantern uh, running inside of your house. There's a couple of different hazards with that. Uh, the main being, you know, the fire hazard. You can end up burning down your house uh, trying to keep light going. So this is a much safer alternative. Uh, you also have two choices of powering it. Again, if you run out of regular alkaline batteries or say, you know, people were anticipating the storm and there aren't any batteries available at any of the stores you go to, you still have the solar as a backup. So, as far as the solar, uh, it has, again, the amorphous silicone solar cell. So, uh, this is very efficient. Uh, it can be charged in full sunlight as well as low light conditions. So, if it's um, cloudy outside, this will still fully charge the unit in about five hours. Uh, it's also fully adjustable. It's on this little hinge back here. So you can adjust it to pretty much any angle you want uh, in order to get the most sunlight on the panel. Uh, another great thing about it is since it's so efficient, you can leave this in your window, uh, either in your car or at your house, and it will maintain the charge on the battery. Uh, if you try that with a crystalline solar cell, uh, most likely it will not charge because, of course, it needs the maximum sunlight in order to do what it needs to do this does not so I'm pretty glad to use the amorphous solar technology um, also adjustable is going to be the LED lights and speaking of the LED lights it uses eight white Nachia LEDs and these two diffusers uh, each diffuser holds four LEDs two at the top two at the bottom uh, what I found about the light output uh, producing 66 lumens is actually uh, pretty close to what a fluorescent lantern would produce. Uh, pretty much like fluorescent lanterns, a little bit more than the LED lanterns I've, hit, I've used in the past just because the fluorescent tubes produce a more even light. You don't have any dark spots or any artifacts in the light output. You just get a clear uh, diffused area light. And to my surprise, this Energizer Hybrid Solar Lantern with the diffused uh, LED bulbs actually comes pretty close to the light output of a normal fluorescent tube and this is another uh, Energizer light one of their under cabinet lights that I got a little while ago so you can see comparing the lights a little bit of color temperature difference but uh, when testing the diffused the LED bulbs in this actually produce uh, pretty smooth light without any artifacts or dark spots so that's what I like about it um, another thing again fully adjustable gives you 360 degrees of output front back sides um, you can also carry it like this and it has a little reflector to um, reflect any light that's coming from the back 
back forward so you can use this sort of as a work light or a flashlight when walking. Uh, it's a really nice lantern. Oh, we have a couple of problems with it. The first is going to be the button back here. So you can see you have the same functions twice. The full brightness which is the white LEDs and this little half moon which is going to be a little night light. It's a little amber night light so you can find a unit uh, in complete darkness. Say you're in your tent, camping fires out, don't know where the flashlight is, you can find this unit if you leave night light on. Uh, same thing goes for your house during a power outage. Uh, you see it has double functions. Um, here's the solar technology indicated by the sunlight and the lightning bolt. Here's the regular battery. Um, you just have those two functions. You don't have high and low for the LEDs. Uh, the main LEDs is just high, uh, which I wish they would have put a low setting in there uh, just so you can get some more runtime on the solar side and also uh, if you want it to have less light. Because uh, I know 66 lumens is pretty bright. It definitely fills up an entire room. Not much of an issue, but something to note. Uh, the second issue is going to be there's no uh, solar charge indicator or any battery indicator for the solar side. I would have liked, you know, an LED or a set of LEDs to let me know it's fully charged or if it's actually getting sunlight. And then the uh, third gripe is going to be the actual color of the exterior. The orange is fine, but the white actually collects quite a bit of dirt, uh, especially uh, when you're solar charging this. I set it in the grass or in the concrete. Uh, it does collect stains, and I have to wipe it off constantly uh, in order to keep it clean, and even then you can see it still uh, sort of gets a little bit of dirt on it. I wish they would have uh, made this entirely orange or maybe used a darker color there. Uh, so it wouldn't get dirty. But besides that, it is a great lantern. Uh, again, using it for the past two weeks. Uh, torture testing it. I dropped it once and it did not break. Uh, it's a very affordable between the $30 and $40 price range. You can find this pretty much anywhere it's available in retail stores as well as online. Uh, again, for that $30 to $40 price range. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Energizer Hybrid Solar Lantern. I definitely did. And hope you guys uh, come back for more. I will have more uh, emergency items on my channel. Things like emergency uh, weather radios, more flashlights, uh, batteries, emergency power packs. And uh, again, check back for those later. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace.